Hi there, and it's good to have you logging on to Hoo Ha Sports today. It's Thursday, so we will bring you an update on the championship, the second tier of the English game, and also some news from the Premier League, especially the impending takeover of Queen's Park Rangers by Air Asia's boss. But we begin with a look at the championship. The 2014 league has already progressed to match day three. Prior to those fixtures, Cardiff City, owned by a Malaysian consortium, was leading the table, but last night they suffered a 1-3 home defeat to Brighton and Hove Albion. Here's a look at the results from match day 3. Tuesday night's results saw Southampton in dominating form, continuing their 100% record with a 5-2 away win at Ipswich, who were week 1 leaders. Former top flight old guards Leeds and West Ham also secured impressive wins, while Nottingham Forest and Middlesbrough claimed away wins. Last night saw Cardiff losing at home, Derby and Bristol had away wins, while Millwall and Peterborough shared the spoils at the Den. To the league standing, Southampton topped the table with a 100% record along with Brighton and Derby. Middlesbrough, West Ham, Crystal Palace, Cardiff and Blackpool look to be, chase, uh, look to be the chasing pack for now, while the other clubs are still close enough to jump into the top half of the table with a win or two. However, the same can't be said about Coventry and Doncaster who are rooted at the bottom without a win so far. And to wrap up our look at the Championship, let's set you up with the fixtures this weekend in the Championship. Southampton will probably maintain their winning run when they take on Millwall at St Mary's while Brighton and Derby will also have the comfort of a home fixture and look favourites to also continue their 100% win rate. But the match of the week will be the Sunday tie between the Old Guards, West Ham and Leeds. Well, the fans can pretend that it's a Premier League encounter, but uh, that's done and dusted for now. Let's look at some news from the top flights. And we'll start with Queen's Park Rangers and the Tony Fernandez takeover. The latest is that an announcement will be made sometime today. This according to an article in City AM, a free business daily in the UK. And as for our QPR viewer, MD1882, I believe he is already anticipating this deal and will probably learn about the outcome by the time he views this in the UK time zone. He responded to a Tuesday's post on the QPR deal and gives, gives us more insights to what is happening in the background, especially with your former vice chairman, Amit Bashar. Well, if you're clueless about this Amit guy, well, he is the only son-in-law of one of the richest men in the world, Lakshmi Mittal of Arsala Mittal. With his daddy-in-law support, he bought a 33% stake in the club when it was down in doldrums and in May this year, stepped down from the board as vice chairman due to differences. Three of them in particular, the sacking of chief executive Ishan Seksana, the ticket price increase proposed by the board, which he was against, and the failure of his family to buy out co-owners Bernie Eccleston and Flavio Briatore. In an impromptu interview after his resignation from the board, he said, he is a 33% shareholder and a 100% fan of QPR. But I get the impression that the fans like this Ahmed fellow. And he seems like a stand-up guy. He recently was asked to say a few words at QPR's end-of-season appreciation and awards night. Here are some excerpts of the speech. Uh, this YouTube video is courtesy of We Are The Rangers. It is hard to explain how I'm feeling. But the four words that pop into my mind uh, right now are dreams do come true. From the bottom of our heart, we thank you for making our dreams come true. We thank you for working harder than any other team. And tonight, for being better than any other team. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, um, we, we all have to dedicate this to the fans. I have been involved with this club for a couple of years, but this is your moment. This is your success. This is a testament to you spending your hard earned money to buy tickets to watch this team play travel far and wide to support them and the support this season has been absolutely incredible. Enjoy it because we are heading to the big time. Heading to the big time. Will Fernandez take them to greater heights? Will Amit Basha make a return to the board? Everything is expected to unfold in the next 24 hours. And that will be it for today. Well, there are a few bubbling under transfer rumours. Former Arsenal, current Man City player who is on loan to Real Madrid is apparently 
on the verge of joining Spurs. He's Emmanuel Adebayo. While the much-talked-about move for Luka Modric to Chelsea could be heading in the right direction. The reason why I suspect this is the club says he's out of Spurs Europa Cup qualifiers with hearts tonight. But if he does feature for Spurs, then he will probably have no part to play in Chelsea's Champions League campaign this season, should the move come into fruition. So that's why I think he's on the move. And Sami Nazri looks set to be heading to Manchester City. Well, we'll look at those stories tomorrow along with all the Premier League fixtures this weekend, including that first litmus test for the title challenges. It's Arsenal versus Liverpool. Till then, from the team and I, it's bye for now.